Welcome beautiful souls, Zoe here growing and singing at Earth Song Farm. I am growing my life song and here to support you as you grow your life song too. So what has been happening at Earth Song Farm this week? Well, there's been a lot of time away from the farm, uh, driving down to Leicestershire, supporting the ballet, working in schools, earning some money to pay for the ballet. And there's been a bit of downtime in between where I got to work on my vision and goals with projects moving me forward. Um, there's been time back here at the farm, uh, working with the animals. We've been doing a bit of dust mite treatment. Um, so the bantams at the bottom have been having uh, squirts of desi dust and things on them to uh, get rid of the mites. And we've been waiting for the little chicks to grow a bit bigger so that they can go into that pen as well. And uh, yeah, just keeping on top of things, watering the tomatoes. We've still got tomatoes in the conservatory. Um, we've been having courgettes harvested and there's uh, lovely pears on the pear tree. So lots of things going on at the farm. It's been great uh, to have that time to come out in the evenings when I've not been too tired. So a couple of days I've been quite exhausted with the driving, but um, when I felt rested, I've been able to come outside and work on the farm. This week there have been moments when I've had a bit of extra time to work on my vision and goals. And I noticed that I was choosing to productively procrastinate into things that weren't going to be moving me forward as quickly as they could have done. And I wanted to share with you that this can happen to all of us and sometimes we lack that motivation and that will to move forward with the important steps. And it's really useful to be able to go back and get intimate with what's going on inside, to journal, to understand perhaps what the benefits and the costs are of staying where you are. And if you are able to tip the balance and move yourself, uh, you can sometimes shift that lack of motiva motivation into a bit more urgency and move yourself forward. So um, it's an opportunity to go and reflect, to look at what the costs and benefits of not moving are for you, to see if you can find something that will flip that switch and move you forward so that you shift your um, energies and you do start to take those steps and go into committed action and moving forward. So um, I wanted to share with you that it might be that you have a fear of failure or maybe a fear of success. And I was wondering if it was fear of success for me this week. So I wrote a six, I wrote a six song. I wrote a song <laughs> called, Is it fear of success that's stopping you? Now in it, um, I have some lovely words. I love the lyrics. And again, I have gone all over the shop with um, tunes. I keep recording these videos and the tune keeps changing every time. So I'm gonna give it a go now, see what comes out. And hopefully this will be a wrap and I can send it out to you. All right, here goes. Is it fear of success that's stopping you? Is it fear of success that's stopping you? Examine yourself and see what's holding you back. Don't be shy, ask yourself truthfully. Am I afraid to succeed? What will it mean if I do? There's a reason I'm choosing to stay in this rut. I can feel the churning deep in my gut. Unpack it so you can break through. It's worth that time to you. Imagine a balance that gets to tip or a simple switch that you get to flip. Revisit the reasons you're staying still the benefits, costs, and your lack of will. Is it fear of success that's stopping you? Examine yourself and see what's holding you back. Don't be shy, ask yourself truthfully. When I understand what's holding me here, I can tip the scales of desire and fear. 
to turn on the light of my life with glee. The one to do it is me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave it at that one. Um, I hope you enjoyed this week's song. Go and look at what's going on with you. If you are productively procrastinating, not moving yourself forward in the steps that get to be done to move you in your vision and your goals, go and journal, get intimate with what's going on, look at the costs and the benefits again, go and see if you can shift it yourself because actually nobody else can do it for you. It gets to come from you yourself in here. Remember, we are the ones that have the power to move ourselves forward. So go and make your dreams happen and share in, share in the chat what's going on so that we all get to celebrate what's moving forward in your lives. And if you want some help unpacking what's holding you back, do reach out because I am creating spaces for people to support them with their um, vision, with their dreams, with their goals. And I would really love to help you with your projects. All right, love to you. Have a lovely week and whatever you're creating, go and be joyful in the doing and make your wonderful lives come true. Off you go. Bye-bye. Is it fear of success that's stopping you? Examine yourself and see what's holding you back. Don't be shy. Ask yourself truthfully. Am I afraid to succeed? What will it mean if I do? There's a reason I'm choosing to stay in this rut. I can feel the churning deep in my gut. Unpack it so you can break through. It's worth that time to you. Imagine a balance that gets to tip or a simple switch that you get to flip. Revisit the reasons you're staying still, the benefits, costs, and your lack of will. Is it fear of success that's stopping you? Examine yourself and see what's holding you back. Don't be shy. Ask yourself truthfully. When I understand what's holding me here, I can tip the scales of desire and fear to turn on the light of my life with glee the one to do it is me